Like right in my face. I know, I was going to say, I don't think I'm going to laugh. I heard Jenny's tiring over there. Yeah. I can go for a friend's ride. I can go for a friend's ride. I just said it louder. He's like, he stole my joke. Say it louder. I'm like, that's your chance. Anything that's cold. Anything that's cold. Perfectly. Okay, back up here for more. How many business owners does it take? Perfect, leave it. To start recording a video. No, it's been recording. Oh, I need to get a better Blame it on the stand, okay. Boof, ratitude. Do we need to take a lap? Everyone just needs to sit down. Alright, I'll, I'll keep this wow. being really short, guys. Um, I know this might be a lot for, for Dan. How many of y'all are like, wow, this is. When, I, when Danny said this was a lot of energy, he wasn't lying. Go Lily. Yeah, me. <laughs> I'm intimidated. I'm just so you make me think I'm you, You're going to make me think I'm funny, and that's, that's a terrible place to be. That's very dangerous. That's very dangerous. Because then I just start throwing jokes. That's kind of hard. Don't get the shit any bigger than it already is. And, and so, with that being said, um. No, we're good. Um, and, and so, with that being said, right, uh. <laughs> if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right, bro. <laughs> And so, ooh, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. All right, and so that being said, guys, I'll keep this meeting really short. Okay, I, I was like, what, what do I need to talk to y'all guys today? Because I'm going to be very honest, and, and some people might be hurt at this. Realize there's two things I always like to start every meeting with. Well, uh, three things. First thing, can everyone double check that your phones are on, on, on Do Not Disturb or, or mute or off or away or thrown away or in the trash? That doesn't matter. Toilet. <laughs> the electronic All income reduces. Because I just, I just have a very, very short span of attention, okay? It's one of my biggest flaws. We'll, we're we're going to go on three tangents within this whole entire meeting, <laughs> and we're just along for the ride, okay? I'll take you, I'll take you over on that. Is that recording? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, the yes. second, and the second thing is, guys, is um, we're, we're all adults, agree? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I think we can all agree that, that you do not have to agree with everything I say. That's the one thing that I want to be okay with. Like, like for me, I went through, I went through the college education, and, and, and I'm very big on, on education. I just don't agree with how schooling works. Agreed? Yeah. Some people are shaking their heads. Some people are like, wow, I'm in college right now. There's no hurt for that. I love it. I wasn't a fret. It was, I, I paid for the experience. <laughs> okay? I, I, but there's some views that I have that you might not agree with. Just understand we're both adults, so we can agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, right. it, it doesn't mean you have to, you, you, you have to sit there with that, that buck. That buck. Okay? <laughs> right? And so if you get offended, right, just also know it's 100% your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a free country. Make sense? And you love Matt. <laughs> and I'm American and I love Matt. I'm not American, but I actually am. 23 and me, we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> and so and so with that being said, I was like, okay. And and so we ready disclaimer, right? If you get your feelings hurt, <laughs> it's your fault. Okay. I think yesterday was probably if uh, top two, if not the best orientation class we had. Woo! 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 Really? That's great. Heads down. <laughs> And, and, and Sharon's like, wow, I wasn't in that orientation. Yes, you're right. Okay, and, and I, like to talk, I like to talk about why I think it was the best orientation class. Okay, and the reason why is I think the two things really stood out. The, number one was the, the, the openness, the open ability to learn a new, a new skill. It was the least amount of people that were looking for a sales job but they liked the culture, they liked what the opportunity offered, so they were willing to learn something, a new skill set, make sense? Yes. That's the reason why I think that was among one of the best. Okay, the second reason why I think it was one of the best was, was just the ability to, to grasp knowledge at a very faster mentality. Does that make sense? Like they were just clicking on all, there was, there was 20, like 19 people in the orientation and we got through it in like an hour and a half, two hours. And it was just because they know what they want. Like y'all know what y'all want. Where, where do we want to be? We want to be not working a job. Agreed? Agreed. Or we don't want to be clocking in 
asking someone else, hey, how much am I worth? You want to walk in and say, hey, this is how much I'm worth, Mr. Employer. And I'm going to sign the front and the back of your checks. Like, that's where you want to be. Agree? Agree. And, and I like to talk about, like, an idea, right? I really don't care about the avenue to success. I care about getting there. Agree? Agree. Right? Like, I don't care about what I do. I care about what the status of what I get from what I do. Now, that might sound like a mouthful. Let me break that down. Okay, think about if like, this is, like I said, analogies. Okay, I'm very bad at them. Imagine if like the six months of training was like shoveling horse manure. <laughs> but it was the same a culture, same opportunity, same business, you still got to management all in six months. How many of us would still do it? No. I would be, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'd have the cleanest shovel. I'd have two. Scooper. You know what I mean? And it's because it's like, so, so many of us, like I used to have a lot of pride going through the business. I used to have a very big ego in telling people, like when people ask me what I did, and people ask me like, hey, so what are you doing? When I was going through the training, I'm like, well, I'm in an entry level sales marketing position where I'm the face to face customer acquisition team for Verizon, duh. <laughs> and they're like, so what do you do? I'm like, <laughs> Well, I'm the face-to-face -face customer acquisition team for Verizon, where now I'm kind of going through a manager and training phase, and they're like, so, so what do you do? And I'm like, bro, I go door to door. And he's like, oh, why did you just say that? And I'm like, I don't know, because I was prideful. I don't know. Okay? And it was like, I, and I thought about it. It was a very big, it was, a, it was like a six-second interaction, but I thought about it. I'm like, wow, why was I embarrassed? And it's because so many of us, we want the title rather than, than we want, like, the actual leadership does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yes. Like we want to say we're a CEO, but think about it. If we were all CEOs and we all we all open, it takes it's very cheap to open a business in North Carolina. It costs five hundred dollars. Very cheap. Okay, we could all be CEO. We can all take a, take a trip right now and go open up all businesses. It could be Shema Enterprises. Okay, it could be Brianna Incorporated. It could be Tiffany and Co. <laughs> Okay, it could be that, but you'd be one employee. I mean, you'd, you'd be a company of one. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yes, the title's going to get there, but what do you want when you get there? Right? Like, I used to have a, a big red circle saying, like, okay, this is, one, this is the date I got to get promoted. And so many of us, yeah, that's okay to do that, but it's like, okay. Think about it like if I want to be promoted in six months from now to the dot, what skill set do you need to build to be ready to get promoted in that time frame? Don't say, hey, this is where I want to end up. Be like, hey, what's the avenue I want to take to get there? Does that make sense? Makes sense. Because like here, I'm not here to talk about sales. I'm not here to talk about, uh, about modems. I'm not here to talk about towers. I'm not here to talk about leads or iPads. Or, no, because that's just the vehicle. I don't care about what I drive to get to my destination. I have a 2013 Chrysler. Her name's Victoria. She throws tantrums. <laughs> I love tantrums. Okay? And, and, and I'm not here to brag. I'm not here to do anything. I'm just here to build credibility on the business, okay? Because my upline taught me how to win, okay? Uh, my upline, the upline, Richard. He's Richie in Dallas. Rich. Richie Rich. Uh, he's in Dallas. He's been running a business for about four years. Can we agree that's not a lot of time? In those four years, he's gotten over 35 plus people from entry level into the management position. He's opened up 35 companies. Every single person that he mentors is making money every single week in business. Not many entrepreneurs can say they do that. Does that make sense? Makes yes. sense. And I'm like, okay, so clearly this is a different type of industry because most businesses they're in debt for usually how long? 10 years. 10 years, five to seven, the actual average is about five, five to, to nine years. Five to seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, but most businesses are 10 years, hands down. Some businesses, they, in order to open up the business, you have to take out a what? Loan. 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 You go to the bank and you're like, here, Mr. Banker, here is my, my life savings, please give me interest. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and, and, and you borrow money and in turn, you start paying it off. Make sense? That's how a traditional business, does that mean they don't work? No. no, hands down. Starbucks is a traditional business. They're very profitable. They've convinced us that $6 coffee makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> they convinced us that we need it every morning. And they, and they even changed the language on us. I go there and I'm like, can I have a small coffee? They're like, you want a grande? And I'm like, no, I don't want a large. I want a small. And they're like, yeah, grande. And I'm like, grande? Yes. No, small. <laughs> right? and they're like, oh, you want a venti? And I'm like, what? 
and they're like, yeah, it's gonna be seven ninety eight. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what did I order? Right? And so it's like, the, the traditional business for them works. That's just not what we teach. Agreed? Agreed. And so I'm like, okay, if we have to start the, the one of the best orientation classes, if we if we're on a good track, if we just came off of the record week, which last week we did two fourteen, hoot hoot. Okay, right? If we did all that, what meeting can I possibly run for them today? And I was like, hmm. And I was like, I should run something very basic level, very something not traditional, something something that that they can easily grasp. And and then I'm like, that would be doing a dis that would be doing a disservice to their goals and the potential they have. So here I'm here to talk about big picture. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Okay. So is that okay? Can we just dive right into it? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So I like to talk about why we are valuable to the client in management. Make sense? Makes sense. sense. We're gonna talk. Th this meeting is very simple. It's called "Why You Want to Be a Manager." Okay. Stop lying. Yeah. Okay. And so that being said, okay, I'm, I'm I'm a math person. Anybody not a math person? Raise your hand. Okay. Cool. I did all the math for you, so we're good. Okay. <laughs> We have, we have 58 offices in 5G. I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> that was like a five and a G together. 58 5G offices. So that means across the nation there are 58 offices that do exactly what we do here. Everyone with me? Yeah. Yes. We got some all over the place. We got some in Philadelphia, right? We got some in, in Fort Lauderdale, um, Florida, right? We got some in Maryland. We got some in uh, LA, California. We got some in Minnesota. We have one in Chicago. We have one in New York. We have one in the Bronx. We have one in Manhattan. We have one on on actual Wall Street. It's pretty cool. Okay, like like instead of car rides, they do train rides. It's pretty cool. Okay. I got I got a subway type of TV. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so this business is bigger than it is. We have some people that do door to door. We have another client like AT and T, where they actually man the kiosks in Sam's Clubs. And we'll go to Sam's Clubs and they see that people on the AT and T kiosk, and they like kind of like tell you like, "Hey, buy this before you can go shopping." Okay, they're not people that work for Sam's Club. That's this industry. This industry is huge. And I don't expect all y'all to grasp it right away, but we have 63 clients. In this one client, we have 58 offices. Everyone with me? With me. Okay, cool. And so that means I was like, okay, let me show them the bigger picture. Why do you want to be a manager? This is why. Okay, because we have 58 offices. Each office, can we say on average, has about five to 15 people? Yeah. Okay, then now there's top offices, like the top five. Okay, we were top four last last week, right? Mm -hmm. Top five. I know. I'm, I've never seen. I've never seen a trophy for fourth place. Fourth participation. Place. Okay, uh, I've seen a congratulations. Participation. Okay, <laughs> right. And so, with that being said, I was like, okay, I'm not here to sell them the, the huge picture. I'm just here to sell them long term. And that's not even more of a selling. I'm just here to talk about what's after the six months. Because I'm like I said, I, I don't care about the vehicle. I care about the destination. And I think a lot of y'all are here too. And if you're not, if you're just here for a job, congrats, this is probably a, a very fun job for you. Okay, better than flipping burgers, I agree. Okay, Be better than, than clocking in and then clocking out right away and being told, hey, I'm gonna trade my hours for dollars, I agree. Okay, and if you're just here for the culture, hands down, we have a great one, just be a part of making it a better one, cool? Cool. But it, for, the, like, for the few individuals that really wanna envision themselves taking a part of Verizon's portfolio, and, and becoming like a, a actual footprint of the, the total customers they bring every single week, that, that's who I'm really talking to. Make sense? Makes sense? Cool. And so with that being said, I like to talk about like why you want to be a manager, because as a rep, this is the, the day in the life of a rep, okay? We are all reps. With me? Right now we are all reps. We're not, we're not employees. I believe everyone's an employer going through the employee phase of their life. Is that random thought? Yeah. Okay. Random thought? Wow, this tastes like red. I'm gonna write it down. I'll be grabbing one of those. It's down. pretty good. <laughs> okay, so as a rep, right, we, we, make, uh, we make commission, okay? And as, uh, uh, as we make commission, right, we get paid for the new customer sales we get. Everyone with me? Yes. Cool. So it's not an hourly job, okay, right? But it is a form of active income, agreed? Agreed. Yes. Every one yes? Depending on where you are, 
you get paid how much? So if you're if you're an entry level, you get paid what? Seventy. Entry level, you get paid seventy. Level one? Ninety. Ninety. And then level two? One ten. That's mine. One ten. Okay. Cool. On average, right, we're expected to do about 12 to 18 a week. I'm not here to sell you the people who did 20 like the Esters. I'm not here, I'm not here, to, I'm not here to, to, to sell you the great picture, okay? Like I said, I'm, I'm a transparent person. Cool? On average, let's say, let, let's say they do 15. So we do 15 sales. Okay, now are all of them gonna install? No. No, no. no. our goal is to get above 60%. There's some people, right, like, uh, who was it, who was it, who was it? Ariel. What a crazy, Ariel had like a 79% plug-in. We had some people at 100%. Okay, we have some people on the lower end that, that need to talk to me, okay, and, and all that. But the average is 60%, cool? Cool. So we do 15, 15 sales <clears throat> times 60% installation. That means how many sales delivered? Nine. I don't, I don't disagree with you. I don't know, I just did it off the top I'm of just, head. yeah, I'm not here to tell you you're wrong. I'm just here to tell you that's not right. <laughs> so they have these phones. They're called calculators. You can pull one out. It's not. It's not. Esther, I'm not here to tell you you're wrong. I'm here to tell you you're right. I believe in you. Oh, wow. Okay, nine sales. Really? Yes, that makes sense. I'm so sorry. <laughs> cool, nine sales. All right, and I'm not here to sell you entry level because raise your hand if you want to stay at entry level for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. Cool. It's gonna make me a lot of money. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Right. I'm not here to sell you level two because does everyone make it to level two? No. 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 Wow. <laughs> okay. Right. So that the hate behind that part. Yeah. On Valentine's Okay, <laughs> so let's do level one. Let's say the average. Okay, so we did nine sales a week for that week that delivered. We did that times ninety dollars. Eight ten last week. Okay, what? Eight ten. Eight ten. Per. Per sale. Per week. Sorry. Per week. That's a lot. Like, who, what are you? Per, per, you? Eight ten per sale. I don't know. Who's paying you? I have a plot. <laughs> <laughs> No hires? Okay, now cool, right? Some of y'all are like, well, I want to make more than that. Okay, I agree. I want you to make more than that too. But I'm here to tell you the averages. So, how many weeks are there in the year? 52. Can someone do the math for me? Ooh, not K. Big numbers. I mean, I'll take the K. I'll take, yeah, I'll take, I'll take, the, K. I'll take the K too. <laughs> Tell me, where do I sign? Wow. Okay, 42K. That's like that's that's as that's two weeks after this business. Raise your hand if you're a level one. Yeah. Raise your hand if you're level. Jarkees, how long have you been in this business? A month. A month. Okay. Um, who's also level one? Tia, <laughs> Tia, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm raise, my hand too. You also raise your hand? Okay, raise your hand if you've qualified for, to be a level one. You can do it. Esther, how long have you been in this business? Um, a week and a half. No, two weeks now. Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. They're, they're in the same orientation class. They're like yin and yang, bro. Okay, who else is a level one? Raise your hand. Cool. Cool. Okay, cool. Now, now raise your, keep your hand raised if you're a level one and you've been here longer than six months. With me. Doesn't really count. Look around. Look around. Hold up, I think I need to throw it. You're an owner, bro. You're an owner. As the lead that just got promoted last week, can we get her for her? Yeah. 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 You look like you're going to like the gala. Where, 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 where? Yeah, I think I'm about to make hella sales. And then she's like, <laughs> 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 That's how you dress when you're an owner. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everywhere you go is just red carpet. <laughs> That's happening to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. Let's get you there. Atita, how old are you? I'm 21. 21. And you're a business owner? I'm a young business owner. That's awesome. This business is so funny. Okay. How long you were in the, uh, you were in the business for a year, correct? Yeah, in one year exactly. 
And that's longer than we should be. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do like, you think any, do, do you care that it took you longer than the average person? No, bro. I learned so much more, and I would always be grateful for the more time I spent on it. Mm. There's my second tangent. Okay, right. And so, <laughs> wow. Right. And so, with that being said, okay. This industry is just different. And the reason why it's different is because already after two weeks, right? After two weeks, you receive a pay raise of $20 per sale. If you're doing the math, nine sales times 70, I think that's 720. If I'm wrong, don't correct me. Okay, right. And if you're doing the math, that's $200 times 52 weeks. Okay, like it's just a $10,000 pay raise after two weeks. Some of us, we're happy if we get a 56 cent raise just for speaking Spanish. <laughs> I'm laughing because that was me. <laughs> the average promotion, you know how long it is, right? The, I mean, the average promotion on an, on an average, average nine to five job takes about nine to 12 months. Yep. yep. Agreed? Agreed. Some of you are like, I wish. Okay, <laughs> right. And you get on average, the average pay raise, if you're working hourly, is usually about, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is usually anywhere from about 60 cents to 85 cents. I know, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong? Cool. Oh, yes. Depends on what you work in. Depends on what you work in. Correct. Um, what, what do you think the average raise is? Uh, mine, well, I will say the average for where I worked in healthcare was like 20 cents. Tw oh, 20 cents. Oh, oh, you got it lower. Yes. Okay. Worse. Oh. That's way worse. <laughs> I thought you just said like $6. I got a 10 cent raise. You got a 10 cent raise? Yeah. I've been in this job. And then they, and that's after having like higher than average like merit and um, personal scores. Yeah, cool. My last tangent, I'm going to go on. I was on a phone call with my mom. And she's like, Daddy, I'm so excited. I'm like, cool, why are we so excited? And she's like, I just got a raise. She's like, I went from 49K to 52K. A year. And I was like, that's huge. And in my head, I'm like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, $3,000 divided by 52 weeks, that's 74 bucks extra a week. I'm like, cool, you bought dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love my mom to death. She watches all my YouTube videos, so. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, mom. Okay. But in reality, like society has taught us to be okay with a $74 raise. She's been working at, at State Farm as, as the manager there for over 18 years. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. 18 years and she got to 52K. We just told you after two weeks, you're 10K away from my mom. Okay, and that's not, I don't mean to bash the 95. We need the employees, okay? We need the firefighters, we need the policemen, we need all that, We hands down, okay? That's just not what this industry teaches. What this industry teaches is if you do this for six months, for 24 weeks, I was gonna keep going, but I don't know the math, 136 days maybe, 42, around there. Okay, if you do that, you receive a pay raise, hands down. And let's talk about that pay raise. Because now you go from making sales on yourself to making sales on everyone. Else. Everyone, so the average sale, that gets delivered, okay? Verizon pays that office 210. Agreed? Agreed? But we just said if you're a rep, you get paid 70, 90, or 110. Right. So where does the rest of that go? The, the, owner. Owner. the, the owner. owner. The owner. The owner. You you're like, well, Danny, you make money off of me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Still the same way a waiter makes, uh, the same way a business owner for a restaurant makes money off of the waiters for waiting tables and delivering food. <laughs> right. They're like, well, well Danny, that's why you want, that's why you asked me to have so much energy because you want me to make more sales. Yes, because if you make more money, you make more money. Win win. Yes. Well, I want your job. Right, right. Yes, I want your job. <laughs> okay, so let, let's, I'm here, I'm here to tell you about the averages. So if 90 goes to the average rep, how much goes back to the owner? 120. 120. 90 goes to the rep, 120. Now, I'm not here to sell you a 214 week because that's a top four office, there's 58 offices. I'm here to sell you the average, okay? I'm here to tell you, if you're a business owner, okay, and let's say you have 10 guys, I can do 10 sales a week. Not a lot. The average, doing the average with the average owner. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. So that's 100 sales for the week. How much goes to the owner? 120. 120, but do all those sales deliver? No. No, we said that the average sale was? 60%. So we do 100 times 60%, and that gives us? Four. I heard 40, and don't tell me who it was, because I'm a lot. 
Okay, 60 sales. <laughs> Everyone with me? Yeah. Okay, so 60 sales, but who get, now we do, I didn't make all those sales, did I? You didn't make all those sales, did you? No, but you get a piece of the pie? Yeah. Yes. Okay, right? How much do you get out of the piece of the pie? 120. 120. So that's 7,200. Yes. 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 7,200? Yes. 7,200. Okay. Now, does, does that mean you make $7,200 a week? No. No. Okay. It, it, this is a business. And when it's the same way that restaurant owner at the mom and pop shop down the street has to buy vegetables every day. That's called operating expenses. Make sense? Mm -hmm. We have those too. Okay, these lights don't just stay on. Right? So that 7,200 is subtracted by our expenses. Now the average owner, we try to keep it, it depends on where you are in LA, you sneeze, you owe 15 bucks. Here, it's, it's a little bit more cheaper for the cost of living. It, it, up north, it's always expensive for anything. Okay, like Connecticut, it's like just, right Lily? <laughs> it's expensive. I mean, yes, it's true. It is expensive, right? New York, expensive. Okay, and anywhere that's a, that's a big populated city, it's expensive, right? Okay, so the average, I actually got the average expenses for all rookie one owners, right? It took me a little while to do this digging. The average was about 4500 a week. Okay, some of you are like, wow, that sounds like a lot. It's really not a lot. That's after? 4500 a week for expenses. Make sense? Makes sense. And I'm like, okay, that's the average. It's cool. I I'm here to talk about averages. Make sense? Makes sense. But when I'm thinking about that, I'm like, okay, I know my weekly expenses. That's for 40 of us. There's 39 of us in this room. That's not a lot to run a business. Agreed? Okay, because just insurance on a building usually costs twenty thousand dollars a week. Everyone with me? Okay. So let's say that forty five hundred was left. Me personally, I'm frugal, so I get the, all of our outside, all of our outside deals usually, right? I operate from about two to five. I mean, two thousand twenty-five hundred a week. With me? Mm -hmm. Cool. So what's left? Two thousand seven hundred. Two thousand seven hundred. Yeah. Every what? Week. Every week. And how many months have we been in this business? Six months. Six months. Everyone with me? Yes. And did I lose anybody on on the numbers? I, I would love to go through this again. No? Cool, let's keep going. Okay, so 2,700 every week. Now, we paid the reps because they got the 90, yeah. and the 120 came back to us. We paid the operating expenses, so this is Wait, you? Profit. Profit. net profit. And, and we want to, and we wanted to let, let's say this business was to never grow. Let's say it say at 10 people doing 10 sales a week, that's it. No shebang, no, no growth whatsoever, just sales, okay? Let's do that times 52 weeks. 140,200. 140,000? Yeah, 400. So, in six months, we gave ourselves a 100K raise. How many of us would appreciate that raise? Ooh. We just got told, and I, 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 I'll be, did I pay you before this to say, hey, correct me and say, oh, you only get a 20 cent raise? Did I, did I slip you a $20 bill? Raise. No. <laughs> Okay, right? We just got told by someone that's that saying usually it's a 20 cent raise every nine months. Got a question. You said and every nine months, that's yearly. And that's, yearly. That's, that's optional. So sometimes they might decide not to pay you that year. Yes. And say, oh, well, we don't, allow market, we don't allow market adjustments. We, uh, we don't allow merit increases. We only do market. Or they don't even tell you to do market. You have to find out like two years later. Trust me, it's a big deal. That's why it's mm -hmm. going to be straight. <laughs> <laughs> you healthcare, you essential. Not would be working for free. I don't like committing. I don't like committing economic. I got a question. <laughs> is that and that's the average office, right? Yes. Not just the average. I want to go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Like, can we agree? Like, some of like what the world teaches us is to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. The world teaches us, like, well, that's just what you got to do, and then you retire at sixty-five, and they call those the what years. Golden, golden years. Golden years. I don't know what's golden about that. Okay, because how many of us know someone retired that actually had uh, had to apply for another job? I was like, wow, that's a scam. <laughs> I thought retirement was like waking up on like pork side with some some tea that's homemade, walking my dog out there. Nope. Just to hunt. 
And I'm like, no, no, you're, you're working, like, probably applying for a job at Walmart. Like, I tell someone, they're like, hey, how long have you been working? He's like, oh, well, I've retired five years ago. I'm like, why are you here? Like, because I retired five years ago. Then why are you here? Social Security is not paying out like that. Right? And they're like, well, the, because the, what, what I didn't know prior to the business, being, being a business owner, was that when you retire, you get a third of what you get paid. And we just said they get like a 20 cent raise maybe every year. So if you're doing the math, after 10 years, I mean, after five years, you get a dollar raise. After 10 years, you get a $2 raise. After 40 years, you get an $8 raise. Mm -hmm. After 40 years, you got to go around the bank. And so, can we agree by the time you retire, you are, you're retiring and you're, you're debating whether you want to retire because you don't even have enough money to live off of still. And so when you're like, well, if I retire, I only get a third of that. And a third of not enough is definitely not enough. It's not not enough. Mm -hmm. Right? They retire and go back. So yep. They retire and then they go back at less. Do they get pay more pay? No. But they retire and go back. They don't get more pay after retirement. The and, and so, and so, my main point is, my, my main point, right, it, it isn't isn't to, to, to bash society. My my main point isn't like that because I went to college, like I said. I went to college because my parents told me I need that in order to get a degree, and I needed a degree in order to get a job. A job. And a you work nine to five. That's not true. People work here that don't have degrees. Yeah. So, so hands down. But my parents didn't know that. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool, mom, I'm gonna listen to you. Uh, you ever tried not listening to a Latino mom? Mm -mm. You can't sit down for a week. Okay. Yeah. Right. Go, 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 go ahead, Lily. Um, I don't know about everybody here, but I hear that we're giving average offices, but I plan on running a top five office. Mm. Yes. Can we, can we do a, a top five office? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's do a top five. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about how much I make, okay? <laughs> okay, if you want to do the math, just replace 60 cells with the 214 we did. That's fine. Okay? Right, you can do that on your own time. Hands up. And you, you'll, you'll find out how much a, a top five office makes. But my goal isn't here to, to, to be like, oh, my bank account. No, my goal is to tell you, <laughs> hey, like you don't have to run a 40-person office. If you want to run a 10-person office doing 10 cells a week, okay, running an average expense office, you're going to make 140 k if you do this thing right. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's six months from the day you start caring. It's not six months from today. It might be if you're, if you're ready to go. Okay, but it's six months from the day you start taking it seriously. It's six months from the day you envision yourself being a business owner. It's six months from the day, right? Estelita started taking it seriously. Estelita was like, I, I, I love the thing she said. She's like, I wasn't in the business for a year. I was hired for a year. I started taking it seriously about five months ago, really. And anyone that tells you that they weren't growing will tell you that. I had a, I had a great conversation with the leader this morning. He's like, Danny, I'm going to be honest. I, I've just been going through the motions. He's like, I understand now that the people that are making it are the people that show up early, show up to leaders' meetings, right? Do, do two laps in the field, go out there. And it's not about, he's like, Danny, I finally understand it. The field's not about sales. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> he, he gets it. He's like, I, I'm struggling in the field because I'm not growing in the office. I'm not recommending. He's like, I'm struggling in the field because I'm not inserting myself to what's next mentality. Right? The sales are going to get boring. I understand that. That's why you only do it for five months. I'm telling the people, raise your hand if you went through winter here in the sales. And I told y'all one thing. If you don't like the winter, do what? Make it last. Make it the last time you're in the field. Okay? And, and, and my job here is, is to tell you, like, hey, this is what's possible. This is what you can get. This is what's waiting for you at the end of the road. And if you're like, well, Danny, I just, I just, I, I, I apply to a customer service. I get that. That's not me too. I apply to the same app. Okay. And, and, and so with that being said, it's like, just envision that the opportunity is there waiting for you when you want to take it seriously. But don't think that the opportunity isn't there. Usually you have to push back your promotion in another job because they, the, the spots are filled and you have to wait for someone to either retire or die to fill their spot. <laughs> okay? Here, we're only at 58 cities. We're on a call, okay? We're on a call with, with, with Verizon yesterday and they're telling us, hey, we have 148 uh, open opportunities. There's 5.2 million leads that don't have an active owner there. How fast can we get them there? So they're, they're, they know the moment 
Esther's ready, boom. She can either work let's alongside go. myself, mm -hmm. let's go. And you start up the company and you start going to this quadrant right now. You're not earning, you're not making money off of just yourself. Though with, I'm gonna be honest guys, you can't work enough to only, to, to live a life worth living if you're only getting paid on yourself. I'm gonna be very honest. You can't, you have to make money work for you. You have to be able to manage people. This is why leadership is so important. This is why management is so important. Because I can't do 214 sales. I can't do 60 sales by myself. I don't care how good I am. I don't care how smooth talker I am. I don't care how good Antonio is back in Philadelphia. He can't do 60 sales by himself. Does that make sense? Yes. But you can, you, you can teach five to 10 people how to do five, five to 10 sales. Okay? And so you, you can do that, hands down. That's how people make money. That's how, that's how you don't work a career of 40 years. And instead, people get retired in this business actually in, in 10 to 15. Like Richard ran a business for four years and he's retired. If you're making good money like that, why retire? I would. Because you still get paid money. on it. Oh, we'll talk about, I love you ask that question. Come, <laughs> come to Friday, to come to Friday's meeting, we'll talk. I would not retire. I would say I'll keep like going. Hands down, don't retire then. Okay, stay focused, right? Everyone up here, right? And, and so my, my goal for you today is like, okay, what, what leadership, what management is stopping me from earning that kind? Because if you're not interested in money, hands down, money doesn't attract me. But I like, the money, I like the freedom that money buys. Right. Okay, my mentor told me that the only selfish thing I could ever do is only afford my bills. So I retired my significant other, my mom gets a paycheck every single week and everything is on auto pay. And that's what that business provided. A year ago, a year and a half ago, I was, I was listening to Richard speak. A year ago, Estelita was in orientation. Does that make sense? Like 365 days later, she's in the same city that she got hired in. Actually not, she was in Winston. She's in the same state that she got hired in, but her life has changed. Alexis, right, traveled from Dallas over here to open the business, and her life has changed because of this business. Zach will tell you that his life is not the same anymore. Okay, right, because of this business. And, 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 and like, it's because of like, what this business, business can provide. Does that make sense? Makes sense. And, and, and when you go out there today, be like, okay, it's my first day, but it's the first day of something new. Yes. It's the first day of, of, of ownership. It's the first, don't say, hey, one day I want this. Say, hey, this is day one of me getting this. Yes. Cool? Cool. Y'all think you can use that today? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So it is 12. 12. Everyone will be back at 12.30, ready to go, fired up. Okay, uh, day ones, make sure you talk to your upline. Okay, making sure y'all know where to go uh, after that. <laughs> So good. Always seek out your upline. Okay. And after that, uh, this is the time to change, eat, get ready to go. At 1230, we will be back in this office, all right, in the circle. That doesn't mean at 1230, come pulling into the driveway. That means in the circle. Make sense? Make sense. Yes. Um, other than that, um, no, we should be good to go. Break on three. One, two, three. Break!